In this video, we are going to work on challenge activity 3.5.1, which deals with logical operators. We are required to write an expression that prints the string special number onto the console if the value stored in a variable called special num is either one of these three values, if it's either minus 99 or 0 or 44. So coming on to our program, we have a variable special num right here. We then have our variable, sorry, we then, uh, then the program is taking some input from the user and assigning the value of their input into this variable user num. Now we are required to write an expression within this if statement. And if that expression evaluates to being true, then the code within the if block will be executed. According to that code, the string special number will be printed onto the console. So when should the string special number be printed onto the console? When the value stored in the variable special num is either minus 99, right? If it is minus 99 or if the value is 0 or if the value is 44. So if a special num holds either of these three values, then the string special number would be printed onto the console because this overall expression would evaluate to being true then and once it does then the code within the if block is allowed to run right so this is what our expression should be now to write this expression in the correct syntax used in java so the variable so we use first we use the comparison operator to determine whether the value stored in special num is minus 99 or not so if it is or if it's not then we you need to use our or operator or logical operator to determine whether the value stored in the variable special num is 0 or if the value stored in the variable special num is minus 44 so this is the correct expression that we just wrote or it should be the correct expression that we just wrote we utilize the logical or operator to check whether the variable special num holds either one of these three values right so if it holds any one of these three values then the overall expression would evaluate to being true and we all know the principle behind the logical operator or right in the in or if you have hundreds of conditions and even one of these conditions comes out to be true, then your overall expression would evaluate to being true, right? So for example, if you had something like um, this, if you had something like expression one or expression two or expression three, and supposedly your expression one came out to be false, right? and your expression 2 came out to be true but your expression 3 also came out to be false then according to the principle of the OR logical operator if any one of the expressions comes out to be true then the overall expression would also come out to be true right so we had this we had the second expression in here which came out to be true as a result of which the overall expression was also true so similarly in the case that we have right here if the variable special num holds either of these three values or either one of these three values then the overall expression would also evaluate to being true and once it does so then the code within the if block will be executed accordingly so let's run this code and check it against the standard test cases that we have if we manage to obtain all of the outputs correctly then that means we wrote the expression that we wrote is also correct and yes so all of our test cases passed for instance in the first test case the value 17 was assigned to a variable special, special num and which means that this value is basically neither minus 99 nor is it 0 and then neither is it 44 since it's neither one of these three values then the string special number should be printed onto the console and it was accordingly so that's great when the value special num is either minus 99 or 0 or 44 then the string special number should be printed onto the console 
and in all of these three cases that string was printed onto the console correctly right so i hope that made sense that was it for activity 3.5.1 if you have any questions or would like to give any feedback in general you are more than welcome to do so um please reach out to us in that case and if you further need any help on anything great thank you